In the book of Proverbs, chapter 10 and verse 9, it says, He that walks uprightly walks surely. You can have sure steps through life if you walk upright. That's a spiritual symbolism there of walking and maintaining, walking with and maintaining integrity. He that perverts his ways shall be known. You know, you might think, and a lot of people do think, that they can hide impure motives or insincerity or that they can hide what's really motivating them. Um, but it always shows up. And oftentimes I've noticed that everybody knows except the person trying to hide it. Everybody knows, but they don't know that everybody knows. They think they're getting by with hiding this thing. It's better, far better, to just maintain integrity in life. The word integrity comes from the Latin word integer. And that means whole, complete. Thus, your loyalty cannot be divided if you possess integrity. Since firm adherence to values and principles is what integrity is made up of. So it's a firm adherence implies no division. You don't have this divided mindset going on when you have integrity. For Christians, uh, integrity really means becoming one with God. And for we only find Him, and that makes us truly whole when we find Him, but we only find Him if we approach Him honestly. You follow what I'm saying? Let's read our verse again, Proverbs 10, 9. He that walks uprightly walks surely, but he that perverts his ways shall be known. Integrity also means that our word is reliable. That is, we should mean what we say, and we should say what we mean. Reliability is a central feature to a person's character, especially for Christians. When a Christian commits himself to a certain course of action, or undertakes any responsibility at all, the successful completion of his task brings honor to God, and it brings approval from the Heavenly Father. Reliability is valuable in our factories, in our businesses, in our offices, in our homes. Reliability is a central feature of integrity. We should strive to be known, you and I, as people of integrity, because we name the name of Jesus. We want to bring honor to Him. We want to bring glory to Him. So we have to let our integrity rise to the occasion every time. For by do doing this, we praise God and we glorify God. We also build up ourselves and each other as well when we operate on the basis of integrity. So not only are we glorifying God, but we're building up our fellow man and we're building up ourselves as well. Integrity is God-given, and by and through the Word of Almighty God, integrity is developed in each of our lives. We are God's children by virtue of a relationship brought about by the blood of Jesus Christ. Therefore, we should strive for godly attitudes, godly desires, and godly actions. Reliability is essential to accomplishing this goal, ladies and gentlemen. Don't dishonor the name of Christ with a weak character. And so we pray today in this great old town of Lexington, Virginia, we pray again today that God will develop our character and strengthen our characters and bond us together with the ties of integrity that cannot be broken, no matter the storm, no matter the battle, no matter the war. That bond of integrity cannot be broken and it's built upon the word of Almighty God. Thank you, Father, for this time this morning. Bless my neighbor, bless my friend, and my audience today. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you all the glory. Amen and amen.